I'm Richard Vobes, TV's bald explorer, and I'm discovering Britain. I'm in Shropshire, on the trail of a notorious highwayman. They say he abandoned his house and lived in a cave. Care to join me? I'm at Castle Farm in the village of Middle in Shropshire. I'm searching for highwayman Wild Humphrey Kiniston, who once lived here. There is, unfortunately, very little of his castellated manor house now, but in its day it might have looked like this. Humphrey was the son of the High Sheriff of Shropshire, born around 1468. He became constable of the manor of Middle, which required him to spend on the upkeep of the castle. But Humphrey had better things to do with his money. Lavish banquets, entertaining, gambling. No doubt he showered gifts on the ladies in his life. He owed much and soon got into terrible debt. He allowed the estate to fall into rack and ruin. It's even claimed that he killed a man. The order went out for his arrest and he was outlawed. Being outlawed meant exactly what it said you were without the protection of the law. Your house and property was confiscated and reverted back to the state. You were a wanted man, and you were left to your own devices to survive as best you could. So Wild Humphrey took to the forests around Nescliffe and lived in a cave. And here is the cave that our rascal, ruffian and utter scoundrel took refuge in. He became a bit of a Robin Hood type character, stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. It's actually said that Humphrey would ride his trusty steed Beelzebub up these sandstone steps and vanish from sight in seconds. He eluded the authority many times that way, which is quite an amazing feat to do, I can tell you. Sadly, there's little to show of his occupation, but there were only two rooms for him and his horse to hide in. But it's very easy to imagine him sitting there alone, counting the spoils of his plundering. Many legends evolved about the crazy highwayman, and he was talked about all over Shropshire. One day, Humphrey Kiniston rode into Shrewsbury. Now to do so, he had to cross Montford Bridge. In those days, it was only a few stone piers with a number of planks on the top. The under-sheriff heard of his movements and leapt into action. He knew that Kiniston would have to return home this way. So he ordered his men to remove the planks from the piers, thereby leaving a trap. So they lay in wait in the bushes, waiting for the thief to return, knowing that Kiniston would only discover their trickery when it was too late. But was Wild Humphrey in any way phased when he came back to Montford Bridge? Not a bit of it. He saw the under-sheriff and his men hiding in the bushes. He merely waved, tapped his horse Beelzebub with his heels, and the horse leapt across the whole river in one go. An amazing feat. A feat of legends. Back at Castle Farm, his manor house ruins remain, protected by English heritage to keep his name very much alive. There are many stories about how Humphrey met his end. Some say in the arms of his sweetheart or wife. Others say by illness brought on by the damp conditions of the cave. Well, perhaps we'll never know, but it is a great legend and a terrific ruin. So join me again the next time I go exploring.